DHT. I was trying to catch my breath after I had been chased by these two guys that had mistaken me for someone else. They had run up behind me and pushed me from behind. Mind you, I had a handful of groceries in tow, so they went everywhere, and they kept running past me in order to catch the bus that was a block ahead of me. I yelled, you assholes, watch out. They did not mind me. I was standing there picking up my stuff when all of a sudden it goes silent. I look up and there's no cars, busy streets. I look down at my watch and I swear it was 7 p.m. and now it's 3 a.m. I guess I fell over and hit my head, but I hear someone call my name, Jackie. I turn around and look, but there's no one there. I start walking back to my home. I put on some music to try to walk a little faster. I pull up my flashlight from my phone, leading the way. I walk home. When I end no time, I get there, I open my door, there's a knife stabbed in the front of my door with a note that says, You're going to get it, you stupid bitch. You know what you did, you're going to pay for what you did at that lab experiment. Oh, whoa, I had thought I had gotten away from that. I even moved the whole 8,000 miles away and even changed my name. But somehow they had found me. I had done horrible things to some people. They don't understand what it was in the name of science, that if they had not done what the experiments on the humans or the people, that we would not have some effects. I know that sometimes I get this urge to eat raw meat of sorts. I know it's not normal at all, but it's the only way I've been able to fight this one. They are so mad at me, at the relatives of the people that I had wanted to volunteer. They had some warnings, but then they wanted to go through with the experiments. They just wanted the nice six-figure payday. It was one of those three days, four nights, They'd be injected with some type of new combat of some blood type of disorder that would somehow backfire and the people would begin to have red rashes and would begin to scratch and they would begin to fester and they would start picking and tearing at their skin and then giant boils would begin to form and then they'd begin to pop bloody pus all over the place. They would beg to get out of their rooms but we would not be able to let them out. We don't care about the money anymore, we just want to get out. Uh, don't do anything, just stand there and watch us suffer, because if we would go in there, we would be infected. Well, quite contagious. We sent a low-level person in there, we told them it's for the better good of the company, but I was one of the lucky ones that was not infected. But I guess some of the people had contacted their relatives, and that's why they had wanted it out for me. They wanted me dead for the things that I had done to their families, but I had a secret of my own. And it affected me, and I was eating raw meat. And the sensation of a smell I could smell at least 15 miles away. I don't know how. I would end up outside naked, half-eaten chicken bones. And I had truly become a monster of sorts. Be sure to comment, like, and subscribe.